Altai is the third generation plus main battle tank MBT, of the Republic of Turkey. It was indigenously developed under the Altai National Tank Project. Altai is the first national MBT developed for the Turkish Land Forces Command. The tank is named after the Army General Faren Altai, who commanded the V Cavalry Corps during the Turkish War of Independence. The Turkish National Main Battle Tank Project began in 2005. In September 2010, the conceptual design phase of Altai was completed. The first prototype was ready by 2015. In August 2016, Atokar submitted its final offer to the Undersecretariat for Defense Industries SSM, for the serial production of the Altai main battle tanks. Turkey intends to initially build 250 mid-up Altai MBTs and ultimately produce 1,000 new tanks in four separate lots of 250 units. Altai incorporates the most modern features of a tank. The Turkish MBT has a crew of four, comprising the driver, gunner, loader and commander. The design of Altai has been realized in order to fulfill all kinds of operational requirements derived from the technical and tactical demands of the Turkish armed forces. In this scope, Altai has been equipped with the latest technologies that are used in the modern tanks. With its superior firepower and hit rate, high mobility and survivability features, it's anticipated that Altai will be one of the fundamental and deterrent assets of the Turkish armed forces. Turkey's tank fleet is currently made up of American M48 and M60 tanks, some of which have been modernized with Israeli cooperation into M60 Sabre tanks, plus a large contingent of German Leopard 1s and Leopard 2s. Patton and Leopard 1 are an old design, even with all the upgrades, Turkish army know that both tanks will have a hard time to counter the new tank like T90 or Merkava Mk4, the latest ATGM technology will also be a great threat. Considering Turkish enemy at the moment are mostly Kurdish separatists with good connection to obtain recent Russian or Chinese ATGM. America and Germany are Turkey's two most important geopolitical relationships, and this is reflected in Turkey's choice of defense industry partners. But Turkish relations with Germany and the USA are deteriorating, and so having the domestic manufacturing infrastructure to support their military is becoming more important. In recent years, However, a pair of new players have begun to make an impact on the Turkish defense scene. One was Israel, whose firm specialized in subsystems, upgrades, and apps. The other is the Republic of South Korea, who has made inroads in the Turkish market with turboprop training aircraft, mobile howitzers and now, main battle tanks. Work on the Altai project began in August 2008 at the Atokar factory and was completed in 2016. Atokar developed four prototypes for testing. Altai uses the technology systems developed for the South Korean K2 MBT by Hyundai Rotom. The successful testing of the prototypes was concluded by early 2017. Turkey owns the design and intellectual property rights. As far as the design is concerned the tank has a conventional layout. The power pack is placed in the rear, driver seating in the front, as well as a fighting compartment in the middle. The loader sits on the left side of the turret, while the commander sits on the right side. The gunner sits on the same side as the commander but in a more forward and lower position. The Turkish Ministry of Defense allocated a budget of $1 billion for the development of the Altai. The military electronics company Aselsen manufactures and integrates the Vulcan 3 modular fire control system, command, control and information systems, while state-owned Keck, Mechanical and Chemical Industries Corporation, agreed for the production and integration of a modified and licensed produced Rheen Metal 120mm gun. Another state company rockets and designs an indigenous armor. Altai appears to share strong chassis characteristics with its technological base, the South Korean K-2 Black Panther. The tank will be fielded with a Stanag 4579 compatible battlefield target identification system that ensures interoperability among small tank units. There are seven wheels, which translates to a longer hull, heavier armor and increased survivability. 
the tank will benefit both from indigenously developed systems and from the cannon technology of the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, accorded by an agreement signed with South Korea. The first two batches will be powered by the 1500 horsepower MTU engines whereas the last two batches will be powered by an indigenous 1800 horsepower engine. On June 16, 2008, SSM and industry members discussed a possible participation for the development of 1800 horsepower indigenous power pack for use in the armored personnel carriers and main battle tanks produced in Turkey. While moving at high speeds, to evade ADGM attacks, sudden braking and maneuvering at severe angles are capabilities that were taken into consideration from early developmental stages. An isolated ammunition compartment is designed to protect tank crew, alongside fire and explosion suppression systems which are to activate when hit or when the tank is involved in an accident. The tank is to be equipped with sensors for the detection of contaminated air from chemical, biological and nuclear weapons. Altai is equipped with a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun. It is fitted with a muzzle reference system, a thermal sleeve and fume extractor. The ammunition is stored in the turret bustle with blowout panels on the roof. The tank also has a 7.62mm machine gun mounted in coaxial to the right of the main armament. A 12.7mm heavy machine gun is mounted on the right of the turret for commander operation. The front side of the tank has special modular reactive composite armor protection. The tank is designed to resist chemical, biological and radiological attacks. Both the gunner and the commander are provided with stabilized day and night thermal sights incorporated with a laser range finder with a hunter-killer capability. Turkish vehicle manufacturer Otokar has unveiled its new Altai AHT urban operations tank at the 13th International Defense Industry Fair. The Altai AHT has been designed for Turkish military taking into account the experience of fighting in Syria and Iraq. One of the key difference between new Altai AHT and the base version of Altai tank is that the tank is fitted with a jammer against remote control IED attacks. The gunshot detection system can identify the direction of sniper threats, the laser warning system can identify the threats by laser-guided anti-tank missiles. The tank is fitted with a directional dozer blade that can be operated by the driver, and used for a variety of tasks such as preparing the defense lines, clearing the obstacles on the battlefield, and filling the tank trenches. The AHT tank is equipped with explosive reactive armor and bar armor systems both are applied on the tank to enhance its survivability against guided and unguided ballistic missile attacks that pose great threat and 360 degrees for main battle tanks in hybrid and asymmetric combat conditions. According to reports, a military envoy from Colombia was present at the 2010 press meeting hosted by the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries of the Republic of Turkey to obtain more information about the tank. In April 2013, officials of the Saudi Arabian army reportedly became interested in the Altai main battle tank, and at IDEF 2013, the Azerbaijan army expressed interest in the Altai tank. Additionally, Atokar placed a bid for 77 Altays for a tender in Oman in August 2013. In January 2016, Turkey reported that the Altai had received interest from Pakistan and Gulf Arab countries, 